Hey everyone, my name is Wellens and welcome to Stories Untold. I think this is a scary game, but beyond that, I don't know too much about it. It's supposedly four different episodes of a nightmare, <laughs> apparently. Four stories, one nightmare. Uh, yeah. Maybe we should just jump in and find out what it is? Sound good? Oh boy. Some commands might be case sensitive. Oh, I think it's a text adventure. So that's probably what they mean by commands. Ooh. Whoa, the function keys are in a weird place on that keyboard. Olden Time TV. It's kind of giving me like a Stranger Things vibe, huh? The technology seems to be a little bit dated. The house abandoned. It is currently 10.05 p.m. Interactive horror adventure, all right. <laughs> Aww. You pull up the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's as idyllic as you remember from all that time ago. You remember being told to look in the glove box before going in. It's good to be back. Okay, so we're playing a text adventure here, but is this relevant? Because I noticed that we had some zooming in going on here with uh, these two people. I'm not sure who they are, maybe my brothers? Who knows? Okay, look in glove box. The glove box is closed, but appears to be unlocked. Uh, unlock glove box? Oops, glove box? Well, open glove box. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from dad. You take both. Look at key. It's the key to the house. Okay. Look at handwritten note. Then notice from your dad and reads, Hi son, hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around the back to get power and lights on. Also, found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. Okay? You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark. Oh, but we already read this too. <laughs> um, get out of car. You open the car door and step out. The house is grand, sat perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door, and the yard stretches around the side of the house. Okay. Dad just said something about the generator. Go to yard. You take a walk around to the yard. The yard has been well maintained. You spent a lot of time here with your family on holiday trips. Good memories. Look for generator. The fuel gauge is healthy and it is manually operated. Uh, what exactly am I doing with this? Like, do I operate it? What's the verb I'm looking for here? <laughs> uh, maybe I gotta read this again. Fire up generator. Okay, cool. Thank you, Dad. Mm hmm We're in the yard, and I'm pretty sure the generator is here. What? Or search for generator? Look around. You see a generator on the back wall of the house. Go to generator. You are standing next to the generator. Good. Use generator. 
You switch the generator on, and it whirs the life. The house is still dark. Oh. Okay. Um. That's not good. <laughs> Maybe the lights are off. Yeah, because we didn't go in the house yet. Okay. Go to house. You walk back around the front of the house. Yeah, in front of you is the front door. Go to front door. Uh, okay. <laughs> I gotta get acquainted with the system here. Yeah, the trees stretch up to the night sky. There is a house in the yard. Go to house. The door appears to be locked. You will need to use a key. You insert the key and turn. The door lock click. The door lock clicks open. Look inside. <laughs> Look inside the house. The lights are all off. No one else is here. It seems like my dad, um, maybe this is my family home and uh, yeah, I think so. And I'm going here to relax on a vacation or something by myself. Turn on lights. Use lights. Oh, come on. <laughs> Wait, what did I just do? Look inside, right? Uh, look inside house. Go in house. You step inside the front door. You enter the house to the hallway. It's dark and you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door, however. Use light switch. You flick the switch and the lights come on. Yay! The hallway is now brightly lit. There is access to the kitchen and the living room here, as well as a set of stairs going up. Eh, am I hungry? Wanna go check out the kitchen? You walk into the kitchen. The kitchen is tidy and well kept. There is a door to a utility room, but otherwise, it's just a kitchen. There's gotta be food here. It says wait. Oh, no, okay. Oh, it's waiting for me. Um, look around. It's very clean and tidy. Not been used in a while. Oh, no fridge, nothing? Utility room? Utility room? Go to utility room. The utility room door is locked. You have no idea where the key could be. Okay. Guess we go back to the main living room. You go back out the hallway. There's a living room. Oh, okay. Go to living room. You step inside the living room. A spacious and comfortable living room. We spend a lot of good time in here, playing board games with the family. Warm and inviting. Maybe look around like always. There is nothing here of interest. They were just begging me to go upstairs, huh? To my room. Well, I guess that's not a bad thing, huh? Well, okay. Yeah. So, in the kitchen? There's a utility room that we don't have the key to. In the living room, there's nothing pretty much. You walk upstairs to the landing. The stairwell landing. There's a bathroom, two bedrooms, yours and your sister's. Are those my sisters? Right here? Oh, I can move around a little bit. Hmm. Pictures adorn the walls. Images of happy times. Uh, go to my room. You walk into your old room, your old bedroom. So many good memories in here, and it's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift wrapped box. You unwrap the gift excitedly. You can't believe it. Dad has found your old computer, a future old 128K plus two. It's been preserved well in the attic and hopefully still works. Oh, do I have to plug it in first?
Ooh, a copy of the house abandoned. It's all still to be set up though. It's getting kind of meta here, huh? Am I looking at the- oh my god. Look. Futuro. 128k. That's what we're looking at right now. This is the computer. Oh. Something very meta is going on here. This must be my bedroom then. Okay. Um. Set up computer. You start to plug in the various cables and something. The computer is all set up and ready to go. There's a game here too. Oh, do we want to play the horror game? <laughs> okay. You put the cassette in the computer and press play. Oh shit! Oh my god! Get out. <gasps> Why am I back here? You can't stand to be near this place. Look at the time. No, the power went out. Uh. Uh, leave, leave. No, 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 leave in the car. <gasps> the house looks abandoned. There is a yard to the side. Wood creaks in the wind, and all happy memories are gone from this place. There is no love here. Hold on, we didn't check the glove box yet. You squeeze back into the mangled car. You feel sick. Let's go. <laughs> I'm already scared. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from your dad, which might not say happy things again, huh? You don't recognize the handwriting. Get out the car. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out the car. Okay, okay. Leave car, leave car. I'm so scared! You force the warped car door open, yep. Do we have to start the generator again? You step through the debris to the back. The grass is overgrown and weeds crawl up the side of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch the note, needing to look around. There is an old generator next to you. Oh. oh! There isn't much fuel, but the generator starts up. Oh, it's reflected in my light. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. You go back to the front of the house. It's not even that the time is midnight, the whole thing got shut off. It's like when you, uh, when you have a blackout and the microwave loses the setting of the time. You unlock the door. The click of the lock hurts to hear. Look inside. Oh my god. The lights are off. Windows are broken. There is a front door, and a yard. Use light switch. Go, go inside the house. <gasps> Pitch black, but your senses are punished more by the smell. Stale air and damp. This could not be any less inviting. The note burns in your hands, you feel compelled to read it over and over. <laughs> it 
It's almost like the person that we're controlling right now is coming into the house that I'm in. Afraid of what you might see, you flick the light switch. The lights flicker on and off. The walls are falling apart after years of neglect. Someone else is in this house. Stop. But it's me. It's me. Make it stop. Make it stop. Can I do something about- It says stop! <laughs> Help! I can't click on anything, I don't think. Do you want to go upstairs? Hold on, okay? I'm trying to figure it out. Okay, you gotta go upstairs and turn off the alarm if you want it turned off. I don't- Go to kitchen! Stop alarm! Clock! You are still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. There is a kitchen and a living room adjacent, and stairs leading up. The note feels disgusting in your hands. I- Oh, nine, 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 nine. I stopped the alarm clock by telling the computer game to do it, but my real life alarm clock stopped. <sighs> you go into the kitchen. The kitchen stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. The tabletops are rusted metal, and there is a carcass on the table. There is writing on the wall, and the utility room door has a red X painted on it. In blood, the number, 1986, is smeared across the wall. Okay, uh, that seems important. There is a red X on the utility room door. You assume it's paint. Yeah, it must be paint. It feels like the note. Oh, oh, hold on. It says it right here. 1986. Was that always there? <sighs> okay, okay. Um, what about the carcass? Look at Carcass. You look closer, but can't tell what it is, or what it was. Uh, I think we should go. You step back into the hallway. Your shoes are wet. Go to living room. <laughs> I didn't even check out the bathroom last time. Do I want to? I don't think so. <laughs> you enter the living room. The living room, although hardly an appropriate term. Cause it's dead. The furniture is threadbare and worn. The note is fixed in your mind. Dread fills the pit of your stomach. This is not a nice place. Oh. The note, always changing, now reads, Get through this. I don't care if you want to or not. <laughs> You're right that I don't want to. What happens if the... The me in the game comes up into my room? <sighs> you return to the hallway. Do I want to read it again? Uh... I can't read the note. It's bleeding. Do I want to try reading the note in the kitchen? It might be different there. Oh, 
Lordy Lord. The paper now feels like fabric. It's covered in blood. You can just make out the words. There is nothing for you here. Wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, we didn't try opening the utility room door. Although it it's probably locked. Yeah. I can't get in there. Not yet. Oh. Let's go upstairs then. Go upstairs. You head up the stairs. They creak. Same but different. The landing has access to your sister's sister's room, your room, and the bathroom. <laughs> Behind the door, a phone starts to ring. You don't understand. Neither can he. You hear him answer the phone. Your mind hurts and you taste iron. Voices spill out of the phone into the room. Whoever's in there should not be there. You need to hang up the phone. I do. Whoever. You consider the worst. Relief. Why does it say sister sister's room? Pictures are all over the wall, but something is different about them. The pictures are of your family. The eyes have been scored out on all. <gasps> right here! When did that change? <gasps> you enter the bathroom. The bathroom feels disgusting. Every surface is covered in a layer of oily grime. The sink is a haven for all kinds of bugs. <sighs> oh, look at sink. It's disgusting. Grime and dead bugs. The taps won't budge. Is there a bathtub in here? Probably not, because it didn't mention it. No. Oh. A broken mirror hangs above the dirty sink. Taps rusted in position. A mirror? I don't think we want to look at that. You can't bear to look at yourself. That's the wrong bear. You step back onto the landing. My sister's room seems kind of suspicious, cause... Why does it say sister sisters? But my room is where I am right now. So which one would I rather go into? My room, I guess? Uh... The door is bolted shut with a four-digit combination lock. Well, we know what that is. Uh... Open lock. You grab the lock. The lock is rusted, not used in years. The key in your hand weighs heavy, the note heavier. You grab the lock and can now input the code. It opened. I heard it open. The note is now clean again, simply reading. Get in, get out. Uh, go to, go. <sighs> oh, oh, oh my god. You open the bedroom door. You 
enter your bedroom. The bedroom feels utterly familiar. The walls are damp, but you've been here before. In front of you, a lone person sits in front of a computer screen. The lamp is on. The clock reads 99.99. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You grip the note tight. I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry, Dad. You haunt every step I take, even in this place. It was out of my hands, but still, you punish me. I can be with you now. What does that mean? There is nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. This has to end now. You are pathetic. It was all your fault. Say it. Why am I being punished? Oh, please, stop. It was all my fault. Say it. No. Just say it! Leave. Oh. It was all my fault. Finally. Oh. What was happening at the end there? Oh, I didn't get to see the sister's room. Maybe if I saw that, I would have a better understanding. But the guy that was coming in and me sitting on the chair here. It was like we were the same person, but not. Aww. Do we want to try that again, but go into the sister's room this time? Yeah, we could do that really quickly. Okay, so I went upstairs, and this is before everything went to shit, but we never checked out the bathroom, nor my sister's rooms. Yeah. Go to... bathroom? You step inside the bathroom. You are in the bathroom. There is not much to note, but it's all in good order. Look at sink. Yeah, not much around here, I guess. It's clean. A large mirror sits above the sink. Look at the mirror. It's your reflection. Looking good. <laughs> Alright. What if I go to my sister's room? Missed it both times. My sister's room. You walk into your sister's old room. Your sister's room is now is in perfect condition, untouched since the last time you had seen her. Posters of her heroes and some of her own attempts of art adorn the walls. A few shelves are crammed full of trophies. Her bed is drowned under a pile of colorful, soft toys. A real nostalgia trip. My sister must be Jennifer then. There's also a large wardrobe in the corner of the room. The door is slightly ajar. Oh, well, I gotta open it. It's empty, apart from a pile of scattered photographs at the bottom. Ooh. Ah, oh, they are all identical. A forest road at night. You put them back. Yeah, that's kind of weird. A bunch of photos that are all the same. <laughs> no weird note changing stuff here, right? Yeah, son. So I'm the brother, and I have a sister named Jennifer. Your sister's room is in perfect condition, untouched since the last time you had seen her. That seems innocent enough. But I wonder if that means that maybe the sister died a long time ago. And, um, and they never did anything to her room after that. Hmm. 
Did I ever try reading the note in the bathroom? You can try again. The note is impossible to read due to the black oil that now covers it. Wonderful. Let's get out of here. If we go to my sister's room this time... Sister's sister's room... Hmm. Jennifer's room is boarded up. You can't bear this. Oh. So we can't go in anyway. Yeah, so that gives me the feeling that she's dead already. In the good house. In the nice house? Her room was left the way it was, but in the not nice house, the room has been boarded up. Either way, I think she's dead. Let's see if we can try any. I wonder if there's anything else we can try here. Yup. I got that without even getting the 1986 on the... 1986? That might be the year something happened, because according to the technology here, it's kind of dated, right? So I don't think it's a birth date, but... Maybe Jennifer died in 1986. And then something to do with forest roads? Driving, maybe? Hmm. Yeah, get in, get out. Okay. Let's get out again. Yes, I keep making this mistake. Inside my room. A lone person sits in front of a computer screen. The lamp is on. The clock reads 99.99. You see me sitting there, helpless. You edge closer. Look at me. I don't want to turn around. I can't look at you. Ugh, it's uncomfortable. They very clearly want me to look at the note. Yeah. It's like me being guilty about something here. It's all in my head. I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry, Dad. It was out of my hands, but still, you punish me. I can be with you now. So it sounds like I'm going to... If Jennifer is dead, then am I committing suicide now? I'm somehow responsible for her dying. <sighs> Keep spelling it wrong. So I thought there would have been more in the sister's room, but even till the end, we didn't get too much information. Hmm. I was under the impression that all the episodes were independent, but maybe we'll find more in the other episodes? Not too sure. Are they independent? They seem to be independent because we're in different places, but um... Huh, well so far, the first episode, it was really short, but it was definitely spooky. And by the end there, I'm not too sure what really happened, although I guess we have a basic gist of it. Jennifer died because of me? Hmm. Well, when we come back, we'll take a look at what the second episode's about.